My name is Michael Belvin, and I'm part of the CDM Smith team that includes Kloon Consulting and Edwards Tucker Architects. We are kicking off the West Virginia 2 Ohio State Route 7 Planning and Environmental Linkage, referred to as APEL. To provide a brief overview, a feasibility study was completed in 2020 on a new connection between Western Virginia's State Route 2 and Ohio State Route 7. The purpose of the study was to evaluate the need and location for a crossing, accommodate traffic circulation and enhance safety in the tri-state region, enhance local and regional mobility in Ohio, West Virginia, and Kentucky, and promote regional economic development. The Pell study is hitting the ground running, utilizing the feasibility study as the basis and updating changes that have occurred since 2020. What is the Pell study? FHWA and FTA established the use of the PEL through legislation that includes MAP 21 and FAST Act 2015. The PEL is a more formalized study that will ultimately inform NEPA process during project development. It is a multidiscipline approach. It emphasizes early coordination of stakeholder and public engagement to better understand local needs and priorities early in project development. It formalizes a study with FHWA through a set of coordination points and provides a clear direction forward. It also formalizes agency coordination. What are our next steps? We're finalizing the travel demand model. We're ensuring all existing and committed projects have been incorporated. Reviewing West Virginia and Ohio traffic counts, including the new core employee trips. We're also running three scenarios, the existing, the no build, and the build scenarios. Our traffic forecast and crash analysis will establish the existing conditions. We'll review West Virginia and Ohio's plans for the transportation network that include bicycle and pedestrian safety, transit, mobility, and development. We'll be evaluating capacity and level of service. Uh, for traffic operation analysis, we'll identify impacts and mitigation measures and identify performance, maintenance, and capacity needs. And we will also be doing a benefit cost analysis, utilizing information from the travel demand model. We will develop cost for construction right away and design, evaluate operation and maintenance costs, and calculating benefits and break-even points. We've been working on updating the travel demand model and are beginning the traffic analysis and benefit cost analysis. We are anticipating completing the study and finalizing the report late next year.